reports that tickets for Justin Bieber's U.S. tour went on sale last weekend and sold out within an hour. <laughs> Authorities have launched an investigation to determine if there is anyone over the age of 30 who doesn't stand to profit from the tour who actually cares. People who bought Facebook stock at its IPO price have been, to say the least, surprised at how fast the stock which was sold at a premium price has been losing value. <laughs> Facebook's first five days as a public company saw its value drop 13.1% the worst first week performance of any initial public offering in 10 years, and financial experts say that it will continue dropping in value. Mm. Data compiled by Bloomberg at the close of trading after the first week paints one of the sorriest financial pictures in recent times. Mm. Facebook employees have so far refused any comment, however sources tell WFRT News that a strange maniacal laughter can be heard in the vicinity of Mark Zuckerberg's office. A man from Arizona filed a lawsuit last month to make Google a generic word. Mm. The search engine filed a complaint against Chris Gillespie for registering website names with the name Google in them. Examples of which included GoogleGayCruises.com, GoogleStarbucks.com, and GoogleChevron.com. Gillespie was forced to hand over more than 750 domain names. Now David Elliott is countering, saying the company name has become a common transitive verb that refers to searching on the internet for content. WFRT News legal experts say that while Elliot does have a point, Google has nearly unlimited money to throw at winning this lawsuit, and in this case, David may be right, but Goliath is probably going to stomp him flat. After using the Hubble Space Telescope to track its motion across the sky, scientists say that the Andromeda Galaxy will collide with the Milky Way. One scientist commented, it's a definite hit. With Andromeda approaching at nearly 250,000 miles per hour, the collision with our galaxy is expected to move our sun outwards from its current position, approximately 26,000 light years farther away from galactic center. Scientists say that there is also a 10% chance that the solar system will be exiled to a galactic Siberia, more than 160,000 light years from the center of the merged bodies. President Obama has ordered the State Department to contact officials in the Andromeda Galaxy in an effort to convince them to change course, saying, we can't let them isolate us like that. Huge plant-eating dinosaurs may have produced enough greenhouse gas by farting to alter the Earth's climate, according to researchers. <coughs> Sauropods, recognizable by their long necks and tails, were widespread around 150 million years ago. They included some of the largest animals to ever walk the Earth, such as Diplodocus, which measured 150 feet long and weighed up to 45 tons. <coughs> Scientists believe that just as in cows, Methane-producing bacteria aided the digestion of sauropods by fermenting their plant food. One researcher said, A simple mathematical model suggests that the microbes living in sauropod dinosaurs may have produced enough methane to have an important effect on the Mesozoic climate. In case the world as we know it ends on December 21st, Spike TV has a plan in a new doomsday reality competition series called Last Family on Earth. <coughs> Families will compete for the grand prize of a place in an underground fortified bunker. <coughs> The series is already in production, and the families chosen to be contestants are among the 15% who believe the end of civilization is near. The six-hour series will air this fall, with the finale airing just before December 21st, the date that some claim that the Mayan calendar is allegedly predicting an apocalypse. In the show, families show their survival, endurance, and physical skills by competing in doomsday scenarios, including a pandemic, global government or economic collapse, nuclear war, reactor meltdown, solar flares, Massive asteroids, lethal climactic change, the pole shift, cataclysmic earthquakes, and widespread anarchy. A judge's panel of survival experts with input from viewers using social media will decide which family will be eliminated each week. No premiere date has been announced yet.